Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm coming to you with your weekly oracle card guidance and I'm using the soul cards number two, okay, uh, which are these cards here. I've actually used the soul cards one with you um, last year sometime and it's one of my favorite cards to use. So it's actually, I really love it. It's by Deborah Koff Chapin or Deborah, Deborah Koff uh, Chapin maybe or Chapin I'm not sure <laughs> I apologize if I'm butchering that name which I probably am and so um, yeah we're using this deck and we have three options the option number one option number two and option number three I have the a door open here to the street because it's so warm and I've just uh, I really need that air at this moment and I apologize for the traffic that you're going to hear on the outside um, on the background of this video today so let's go ahead and begin make your selection and you can go down to the timestamp and just go directly to your reading so for those of you who've chosen this option here uh, that's what it looks like and that's the side that you would have seen earlier i think and i'm just going to place it here like that and we're asking what is our weekly oracle card guidance what is the weekly oracle card guidance that we've come here to hear? And what is it that you need to hear today as you go forth? Feels like this card here is poking itself out. And it's the wrong way around. So this card gives me a feeling of being in the autumn of one's life or being or feeling like one is in the autumn of one's life, feeling like things are slowing down, like there's a need to be more gentle with oneself and feeling quite one with yourself, feeling quite confident with yourself as you go along. Or rather, um, that confidence rather comes from being more accepting of oneself, being more tender with oneself. And, and this card is very much about that. It feels to me like you might have come a long way in whatever you're doing. So, uh, but you are at that stage of your life where you are comfortable and and accepting of the things of things the way they are. So I get the feeling of a woman who is in her menopause a stage, and she is um, content with being in that stage. She's content with the end of her fertility with the beginning of her her years as she will wind down into a, st a space of um, of just being more uh, in her feminine energy and I think that here um, of course not everyone is in that state and not all of you who will be listening to this uh, um, are exactly in that state but here there's a sense the feeling I'm getting is that this week what what is necessary is not to is to close out the world around you and uh, or the noise around you to close out whatever is coming your way whatever is interfering with your life and to be able to shut that out and just to be able to concentrate on yourself and what you are able to to bring forth there's also a sense here that there's a need to feel a bit more to feel to feel what you're feeling to be able to give expression to what you're feeling and to be um, comfortable with what you're expressing uh, this is an important part of how you will go forth in these weeks and how you will um, approach the time ahead of you I feel like the energy that needs to be worked with is very much between the heart chakra energy and the sacral chakra and you know it's this point at which uh, this is being admitted here and I think that this is where um, a lot of pain or emotion may be stored for you right now and that is a space where you it might be that you need to feel a bit more you need to release a bit more I would say if you can pick up a paintbrush or, uh, you know, just color in something, just print something out that you can color in uh, or, you know, just draw something or sketch something. It feels very much a time where getting in touch with your creative part aspect is important. So it's a week in which one may choose to use uh, what one has at hand, whether it be clay or sand or 
anything you know that you can do with your hands whether it's some kind of releasing something through an artistic mode uh, releasing something by working with your hands it could be carpentry it could be some kind of um, way some kind of handicraft uh, just being able to release what is built up inside of you that you're holding in between the sacral chakra and the heart chakra and this emotion can be released by doing something which is creative okay so you know you choose your creativity I'm just giving you some very um, vague examples or mediocre examples of how you could be creative here but of course uh, you know you know you will know how to uh, how to feed your soul actually I think the other sense here is that um, there's a feeling this week where you need to be with yourself regardless of what is going on you can't run away from yourself you ought not to run away from yourself and it's okay to 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 shut people out it's okay to not um, be in contact with everyone as you would normally do if you feel that you don't need to be okay so I'm not suggesting that you you know break off contact with anyone or something like this but rather what I'm saying is that it might be it might be that you have a week where it's less important what others think or it's less important to respond to others at this time I just feel like this is very much a week where you can um, give birth to something and it's not just to to give birth in a sense that uh, you're starting something new or you are you are creating something new necessarily it doesn't have to be some kind of mammoth project what it feels like is that there's a lot of pent up tension and in in you and that can be released there's, it feels like a time of release and in order to have that release you need to shut out the world around you so i hope i'm making sense here and you know um it just struck me that well uh, that this the stone here and this this here these leaves it feels like it's very much in alignment with each other it feels like the same energy or the distilling of that energy from the stone and a couple of weeks ago I did a reading where I I looked at the stone I read the stone as well as the the card and I just want to do that here with you as well because I feel like the stone has something to say and the stone for me feels like um Many years of emotions and experience having wound up with each other and have uh, created a kind of solid state in you. And this is something which is to be honored and it's to be recognized. And it's something that you can simply take with you in your, on your journey. But there are moments when it's not necessary to take all of that with you it's not necessary to take all of that experience with you sometimes it's okay to release some of that sometimes you've been holding on to a whole lot of experiences and emotions for so long uh, because you thought that they've been significant and somehow it isn't as significant anymore or you recognize that it's okay to release some of this so this week as you go along and I feel like it's perhaps the next 10 days it's very much about releasing it's very much about going inward releasing being one with yourself being um coming to terms with who you are as a person now i feel like there's other energy around here as well um which feels a bit stuck and there's also energy around you which feels like it's flowing so i think you know um you it feels like you're in the midst of something like a hard rock literally and like the ocean uh, so there's also that feeling that's coming through. Uh, you might have the sense that you are, are suffocating a bit or that you are struggling to um, to cope with something, that you're struggling to actually uh, make a decision maybe. Um, that might not resonate with everyone here, but it might be for some of you. And if you are, uh, just give it some time. You will know what you need to do. I think that the new moon of last week really released a lot and it's really just winding down from that energy and as you do so you're going to find all kinds of gems that have been hidden um, around you and inside of you all right so I'm wishing you a fabulous week as you go ahead and many many blessings for me to you please stay safe stay healthy stay well for those of you who've chosen the second option here which is the stone the stone has made an appearance on this site uh, before as well 
And uh, yes, I, we, we are asking what is the advice as we go along in this week? What is the advice as we go along in this week? Gosh, these cards are splaying out here. Let me just put them together again. I've given them a shuffle before uh, we have actually, before I actually set them out here. So this is just asking, what do you say that those of you who've chosen the option number two need to know for this week? And there it is. Okay, so here I feel like there's um, a sense of a, of there being, uh, there having been difficult times, but then a watershed or a watershed moment that will occur if, or it might have occurred. And so there's a sense here that many opportunities are coming your way, that many things will work out for you. And it also feels like there's a sense here that there's a calm in you, there's a peace in you, there's a knowing in you that things can be okay and it will be okay and that you can trust that it will be okay. So it's almost easier to make big decisions right now. It's almost easier to take decisions that you might have not felt able to take previously. Like, um, and if you haven't come into this energy as yet, I feel like it's something or some semblance of it will come your way or you'll start feeling like this uh, later in the week. Uh, but yeah, what I was trying to say is that there's a sense here that you've been holding yourself back for a long time or because of difficulty, because of trauma, because of perhaps um, family dynamics or something to do with family, something to do with obligation to family and it, or obligation to what is expected of you. And there's a sense here that right now you can go in whichever direction you want to and actually choose happiness and choose peace and choose bliss and be okay with the decisions that you're making right now. So I feel like this card here, it's talking to me very much about being that self that you have wanted to be for a very long time, but that you've been postponing, that you've been putting off doing. And it feels to me like, uh, you know, there was a build up to this. It feels because this, it feels to me like there's a lot of things that led to this moment or to this week or the, the weeks ahead. I would say the next two to three weeks are going to be uh, quite significant for you. And I would say also that here it feels like a lot of headway has been made and a lot of things that have has happened in order to bring you to this moment. So it might not be good things necessarily. It might be that there has been a rejection in your recent past. Perhaps you've lost a job or perhaps you've lost a um um, some kind of relationship or perhaps you've understood that a relationship uh, is not what you think it is and uh, all of this is sitting at the backdrop of where you are right now and it's like you are okay with it it's like you are at that point where you realize it's fine to be this way and you can do the things that you think you couldn't do before like you can actually make um, a difference in your life in the way that you would like and there's nothing actually standing in your way right now and so you know taking decisions such as uh, perhaps uh, buying something or uh, moving somewhere or just doing something that you've wanted to do for a very very long time but you haven't done like it could be you know that you wanted to do this 15 years ago or 16 years ago or even longer, 20 years ago, it could be that uh, it's something that you've always wanted to do, but you've, and you've always dreamed of doing, but then it was somehow slightly out of your reach or just beyond your reach. And you, you might be feeling right now that whatever it is that you want or desire is also with out of, with, um, uh, just outside of your reach. But um, this, the, this here, this energy in this card and what's coming forth it's telling me that, you know, you you will find a way to make this happen for you. And there is a pathway for it to happen. There is a way for you to make whatever it is happen. And that's almost written in your destiny. It's almost, it's an unshakable truth. And I'm getting goosebumps just saying this to you. So it's something I think that, um, that you don't need to be afraid of any longer. You can actually live your best life and you can do whatever you want to do. You can dress however you want to do. You can commute 
however you want to. You can live wherever you want to live. You can do whatever you want to do with your time. You don't you no longer need to be a prisoner of others expectations of you, of societal expectations of you. And you can actually just be at peace um, with yourself in in whichever way you want to be. There's also a sense here of you having, you know, there's a sense of heaviness that has been in your life in the past or that you are a, a kind of a heaviness, a kind of, um, how do I describe this? It's almost like you, you've, you know, become a molten rock from lava. So being from being somebody who's been having a fiery energy, from having being someone who's being able to be more impactful in your environment, you've become less impactful or less able to. And it's almost like you feel paralyzed um, and, and not able to to make the differences that you've needed to. And then there's now the sense that, uh, and a sense that because of that, you've been erased from your environment. You've been, a part of you has been erased. And this card, it makes me feel like you, you know, what this process as you go ahead in this week and next week and the week thereafter is about drawing back a part of yourself that's been erased. So doing things that bring you a lot of joy, having a lot of fun, bringing balance into your life in in a way that you have not yet explored or you haven't explored since you were like, I don't know, ages ago, since 20 years ago, or for some of you 10 years ago, uh, you know, the timeframes are definitely going to differ here for all, for all of you. And, uh, but I'm feeling like it's something that you, it's like there was a time in your life where you felt free and you felt able to do things. And that time is coming back into your life now. And um, it just, there's, it's just such a nice feeling, to be honest, it's such a nice feeling. There's also this, yeah, there's a sense that you need to rewrite some of your story and uh, not in the past, but as you go ahead, you need to explore things that you would have normally explored things and you can undo the stiffness, undo the um, the solidity and be more fluid in your life as you go along. So that is your message uh, for this week. I hope that's been helpful and I hope that uh, as you go along, it's going to be exactly uh, the way you desire. All right. So be happy, <laughs> be healthy, be safe and blessings for me to you. I did not press um, record and I was just going on <laughs> and then I realized that um, yes um, that I wasn't recording because usually what I do is I, I I tend to just record the whole video without any breaks or pauses but today for some reason I decided to just press you know stop in between the the, 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 the readings and just, you know, take a, uh, a breath and walk away for a bit and come back. And so when I came back, I just started and I forgot to actually um, press record. So here we are. For those of you who've chosen this option, um, I'm sorry, I have actually chosen your card already. So I gave the cards a shuffle and I chose it already. And I didn't want to just put it back and re then redo it, you know, just because um, you hadn't seen it. I just felt that this is the message for you. And so I'm going to go with that. And you have to trust me on this one. I hope you're okay with that. And I was also rambling on about how I love the stone and it's um, smoky quartz with something in it, which I can't remember what it is. Uh, but it's a rather lovely stone and it has a very different energy from the other stones in this reading. And um, yes, yeah, so this card here, it's such a powerful card and it feels like it there's so much here to talk about but it feels very positive it feels like even though even though things right now may be unsettled maybe a bit um uh, like there's too much going on uh, a lot of energy moving and shifting underneath you and that might lead to you having some degree of uh, difficulty or um anxiety or, or lack of uh, not, not necessarily anxiety, but not feeling as grounded as you normally would. That uh, the heavens are speaking a truth which is awaiting you. Okay, so that's the message. That's the, me that's the message I get from this card here. It feels like there's so many changes that you're undergoing right now that you are going to be, like a part of you is dying 
and there's going to be a new you that is being formed and this new you that's being formed is going to be very much aligned with the energy of of nature and the elements and it's also going to have a sense of just being one with everything and living a life that is truly feeding your soul at every level but that's still to come the energy this week as you go along is that of a lot of changes quick changes um things may change quite drastically as you go along even though it might not feel like that to you it might not feel sudden or rushed or um or st- stressful in any way and i think that might be because there has been stress along the way but it's just like this huge shift that's taking place inside of you right now and it's changing you forever and you won't be that person that you wear so it's almost like say say goodbye to that person that you wear thank that person that you wear for being there the way that they were for you in order for you to have um c- had all these experiences and come to the conclusions that you've come to and go with the flow and see where it takes you it may be that there could be some kind of turbulence this week um but i feel like even if there is there's a lot of peace in you and there's a lot of um there's a lot there's a faith in you there's a trust in you this is hope and knowingness that of the of the good that's to come and i think that this card is very much speaking about surrendering to that which is going to come it seems like there will be um i keep talking about these changes but that's what i want to say again it feels like there there'll be these huge changes and that you will rebirth yourself or unearth yourself um and give off of yourself something like it's like it's i don't feel like it's shedding i don't feel like you're shedding an old part of yourself i feel like the old part of you is simply disintegrating and there's a new part that forms and is there and it's it's like you just have to go with that and go with the flow and i think that they'll, that'll be easy for you i think it'll come with ease as you go along and things will fall into place and it will work out the way it needs to for some of the things that you need to have done or or have made it it requires a longer time frame but this energy is going to carry you through until that point and yes it will re- require a longer time frame but it's it's all okay it's all uh in order so to to recap it feels like the energy here is just changing itself and you are changing yourself and you are saying goodbye to a part of you that has accompanied you or been you for so long and now you are uh giving birth to a new you and uh re- forming a new you i feel like it's less like a giving birth but more like unearthing or more like um just um forming you're just forming a new part of you is just simply forming and this may come with uh, some you know stress um that is associated with change but um it feels like the heavens are smiling upon you it feels like yes this this is a new dawn and it's in the direction that you want to be in and it's not a bad thing um if you want to go in a particular direction but feel pulled to go in a different direction at the same time so this is um a different energy that's coming in there but it feels like there's one energy that's pulling you towards uh a certain state but then there's this other energy in which you're in right now and it's not it's quite um topsy turvy it's moving around a lot there's a lot going on um and it's okay to be in that space and to be in the space where things are all over the place and 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 there's big changes and there's forward movement the most important thing is that there's forward movement or there's movement and i think that's what's important and where you're headed to is a space where there's going to be more peace and more harmony and um there there will be hard work but there will be uh some kind of 
place of feeling like you've arrived, like this is where you need to be. And it won't always be easy when you leave this state to go to that other state. Um, it won't always be easy to actually uh, go through that or be a part of that. It will, it can be quite, um, quite strenuous or challenging at times, but that is not to be feared because there's a kind of um, um, holding of you. There's this feeling of you being held and supported and uh, yeah, like it's meant to, to, to be this way. So, um, yes, I, I, I've got to, there was another stone here that had a similar kind of message in not, not, um, in anything else, but in that it has, there has a, has a feeling of being fated, you know, and I don't often talk of fate or, or I think I don't often talk of fate, but, um, I don't often find that fate plays a role in my readings or in my understanding of life either. Um, but, um, or I wouldn't say my understanding necessarily because my personal understanding of life definitely uh, had faith, fate as being a huge part of it. But, you know, as I've become um, more and more clairvoyant over the last decades, I found that uh, I, I found that fate actually plays very little of a role in things. And so I'm quite surprised today when I read for you and I find that fate plays a role. Is something fated here. There's something that's meant to be, and it's it's in a way it's very reassuring, um, and I think it's reassuring for you as you go ahead and for a long, long time to come. But it's and it's reassuring for me now as I read this for you. Uh, so I'm going to leave you with that. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave you with that. I think that's been your message for this week. And if I think anything else has come up while I'm do doing the edit and the upload of this, I'll just put it in the in the chat box um, or the not the chat box, but the uh, comment section. Yes. All right. Lots of love to you all. Stay safe, stay well and healthy and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.